the smart cookie and the couch potato. Every syllable needs a what? I am a fifth year teacher teaching second and third grade this year. So this morning we had a math PLC. So I was with my team for about an hour. We had a little mini staff meeting before that. Um, so I only have about, it's 8.50 right now. On Wednesdays, the kids start an hour late. So I have about 40-ish minutes until the kids come. So we have a couple things to get done before that. Also, I'm very sad because these earrings are so cute. However, I ended up they broke and I think I'm gonna try at least like this little piece broke off because it like got wet I don't know exactly what happened but I have my hot glue gun and we're gonna try to glue it <laughs> I tried to just like put it on the tips, but that didn't work. So then I held it and tried to like glue it around it, but I don't know. Oops, can't focus right now, but that's what we're working with. And I'm just hoping it'll stay because these are like one of my favorite pairs of earrings. So I don't know. I think I'm, I'm thinking I should like maybe do another layer, but I also know that this is a lot of glue. So I don't know. We're gonna put a little more glue around just like the edge and then hope for the best. Maybe I can like sand some off after, I don't know. But let's put this back on. Oh God, this probably was not a good idea. Oh, maybe it works, okay. I was able to pull it off without it coming apart. So we're gonna let this dry and then I'm going to get ready for the day. So a little arts and crafts this morning. <laughs> gifts um she or during our math plc we decided what we were going to do for the end of our fraction unit um we bought a like project-based learning pizza shop thing off tpt and we were planning on doing that but then we decided to just do like a quick little two-pager test that i got my wet for my coffee um, but basically it's just got all of the fraction skills that we've gone over just like a one or two problems for each one and then when they're done with that, we just picked one of the pages that was was still fraction based, um, but just like a fun little like secret code situation. So that will be what we do for math today. Oh, and she also printed me off. Um, oh, we have a speaking speaking and listening standard for um, third grade that. I'm gonna have my kids do for the class book that they published. They're going to read their page to the whole class, so that'll be fun. But this is just the rubric for that based um, from the Oregon Department of Education. So 
Um, let me quickly show you also what um, we're reading in Wonders. So this is a story that we're going to read today. This is our anchor text. We're going to do that one first and we're going to use this to assess and we made a little um, graphic organizer for cause and effect to give them an example and then some of them are going to do a whole group and then some of them some of them will do independently and we'll see how well they do I'm not really sure but then after that we have a different story um, about solar power that one was wind power this one's solar power so we're going to do that probably tomorrow and then do this little graphic organizer for cause and effect with that and then when we're done with both of those we will do a comparing and contrasting of the solar and wind power. Also, these are our vocab words for the week as well that go along with the wonders text that I was talking about. We normally do like introduce it, say the meaning, all that fun stuff and have each table write a sentence, but that was taking way too long. So we haven't even finished like these words yet. So we are not gonna do the sentence sentences today before we read. We're just gonna quickly re review those words and then read the stories. Also, this is where my earring is at. So moment of truth, let's see if it actually stays on i'm hoping for the best because i'd be really sad if it didn't but i don't know no i think it's okay it definitely looks silly but you probably you probably can't tell that bad right i don't know let me know like you can kind of see it but let's take bets to see if my kids notice and if they do then they have great attention to detail also really quickly i got some new books at the book fair because it's buy one get one free i love the book fair so much we had one i think it was in the fall and we're having another one right now and it's buy one get one free and i didn't realize till i went up to the register with three books and the um parent that was running it was like are you sure you don't want another one i was like oh i didn't even realize but um, I got some lovely um, books that I've been wanting for a while. I got Smart Cookie, The Smart Cookie, and The Couch Potato. I have Good Egg and Bad Seed. I got that last book there, but I'm going to keep adding to uh, the collection of this author, and I love these books. They're great for the beginning of the year and even the end of year, too. Anytime, honestly. I got Hair Love. I've seen this book all over the place, and I honestly just love it. Such a good message and so cute. And I'm really excited about this one too. This one's a great one for the beginning of the year. Um, the LeBron James book, it's called I Promise. And it's honestly just about like promising to do your best and promising to, you know, find the best version of yourself. So I thought that was a great book to um, have in my library and so cute. I love it. So yes, that is what I got and I just wanted to share because I love new books and it's just like Christmas morning when I get new ones. my earring is still holding up so that is amazing um the morning went really well we only have about i don't know probably less than an hour an hour ish depending um on wednesdays before recess and lunch because of our late start and specials and everything so during my planning period today we have an ela plc um where we just plan all of our curriculum and all of that fun stuff so that was what we did during that planning and then we had the morning we did our circle we did our daily wordle and then my third graders went to state testing um, because I have a two, three blend, they're going to the other third grade classrooms for state testing and I just get to keep my second graders. So they did some eye ready reading, they did some word work and it was a peaceful morning. So I'm going to eat some lunch and we have lots to do the rest of the day. This is our lunch today. We have some brown rice quinoa mix with some air fried chicken. And then I made this veggie mix to go with it. It's got cucumbers, red onion, tomato, mango 
and avocado it's really good and i mix it all up keep this fresh and then mix it in and it's really really good i have hot honey sriracha or not sriracha just chalua and it's delicious got some celery of course need a little pick me up and obviously the best some poppy love madison campbell she is what inspired me to start youtube so thank you to her and yeah Okay, first sound is D. O W says ow. D. Ow. Mm. Down. Ow again. Down town. If you got it right, say woo. Sit, 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 sit. We got it wrong, say want, want. We all got it right? We all got it right? Nice. Okay, let's dissect. Dissect. Okay, when two letters work together to make one sound, what is that called? Digraph. Digraph, exactly. A digraph is two letters that work together to make one sound. What kind of bike has three wheels? Tricycle. Tricycle, so it would be a trigraph. What trigraphs are up there, Lane? Tell me one. Uh, TCH. TCH is a good TCH. one. Good. Air. Air. Beautiful. Another one. Uh, or. Or. O-A-R or O-R-E. Oh. What if I were to cover this up? Is that a word? Yeah. What yeah. if I were to cover this up? Is that a word? Yeah. Compound, Compound word. Yeah. Nice job. All right. <laughs> All right, your boards. Go. Do we see any prefixes or suffixes? Yes, yes, Raise your hand. Yes, yes, yes. Raise your hand if you see a prefix or a suffix. This. This, this is correct. Can anyone add a suffix for me? Discounting. Discounting something. Yeah, we can do discounting. OU says? Ow. Ow. Nice job. Oh, Anything that's not a vowel is a? Discount. Dis Okay, ready? Right, okay, copy is so good for you. Copy is easy. It's small for us. Okay, healthy gut and immunity sidekick, and it's good for you. I know Prime is better. Prime is better. Prime is not as good. Well, it's still hydration, but. Yeah. Okay, the word is artistic. Word? Artistic. Sit down, please. Please stop. On most words with the k sound at the end, what would you normally put? What would you? CK. But this is one of the ones that doesn't like to follow the rules. Do we see any prefixes or suffixes? There are none. No, don't. Don't. Yes. What's that say? Artist. 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 You're an artist. You are artist. somebody that paints and draws and colors and all of this beautiful stuff. Take, can you stop moving around? Sit, please. Between the R and the T? Yeah. Okay. Agree or disagree? Agree. I agree. Did any of you just put R? Just the letter R? No. No. Why did Why did we not? And that's good. I taught you well. Why did we not just put the letter R? Well, what's the rule here? Every syllable needs a what? Lily's got it. Every syllable needs a vowel. So could this R? Could this R just hang out by himself? No, he's lonely. This R is lonely. He needs a friend. He needs the R to go with him because A-R says R. R. Okay. Maybe you did change something because my brain told me to go A-R. There you go. This is much needed after a long day of teaching. So that is something that I always need is um, sugar of some sort, candy, something, just a little treat to reward myself for making it through the day. <sighs> okay, we made it through the day. I'm exhausted. Um, but anyway, um, it was okay. By the end of the day, my kids were like checked out and our Wednesday schedule is just all out of whack and crazy. So it was a little all over the place, but some of our stuff went really well. Some of them 
needed a lot of guidance and scaffolding um, with some of the ELA stuff, which is okay. But um, math wise, we did a little fractions test and it went okay. Could have gone better, but you know, you love and you learn. Just helps me better know how to teach it for next year. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit around the classroom that head home. Um, my boyfriend's been on a work trip for like a week and a half and he just landed and got back today. So I'm gonna see him when we get home. We're gonna, I'm not sure really what we're gonna do, but either take Charlie to the park or go on a walk or go to the river. Not really sure exactly what the plan is, but then we're gonna order pizza in and have a little like movie night at home, just spend some time together since he's been gone for a week. So that is the plan and I will try to record as much as I can, but um, I'll probably check back in later, but that's what the plan is the rest of the evening. So let's clean up and then get out of here. <laughs> outside so I'm gonna take advantage of that and go for a little run um, if you have not heard of memory um, they are the only greens brand with a full serving of greens that's why memory is superior to all of the other greens brands it helps with cognition gut health mood energy so I figured that was a good thing to just take before I go on a little run I'll put their website in the description but you can also get 15% off your first order with my code that I will put right here. I also will put this in my smoothies as well too as another way to just get my greens in. So I can either drink it like this, have it in a smoothie. You could also have it warm as well too. Some people I know like to heat it up um, and have it like a little tea because it does taste kind of similar to um, tea, but I have the wild berry and hibiscus flavor, but doesn't really have a ton of like sweet flavor, which is good, but it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be greens. So I think it's pretty good and it helps me get some veggies in.
from the west side, Cali, born and raised, right? From the town with the palm trees and good vibes. You know the best vibes, soaking up the sunshine. And we hustle because we trying to live a good life. I'm driving down the coast. Good morning. It is the next day after I picked up the pizza last night. We just had a little date night in. My heatless curls still need to calm down a little bit. But yeah, I did her heatless curls, washed my hair, feels really good. Yeah, it's Thursday. We have to plan some stuff for the day and then figure out what's happening. Um, but yeah, last night we were just chill. My boyfriend came back after being away on a work trip for a week and a half. So we were just spending that time together. And yeah, I said I was only gonna vlog, vlog yesterday, but I think I decided that I wanna do a couple more days. So. We'll just vlog until I don't feel like vlogging anymore. So um, we're gonna get ready for the day and yeah, I don't know what else, but you will come along to whatever I take you on. Let's go, homies in the back, bumping loud, loud. You know, who know, we ain't got no worries. This my own, my own. I don't plan on leaving. There ain't nothing better than the west side. That's and right. Like, Ooh, we, we on the There's thunder, there's lightning, and they're gonna be like, Miss G, did you hear the thunder? Did you hear the lightning? And it's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Made it to lunch. We did some cause and effect work this morning. Finished that up from yesterday because we didn't get to it um, the day before. So that's what we did. We did some word work. My third graders went to state testing, and yeah, it was a pretty chill morning. And now it's lunchtime, but we have a lot of stuff to get done in the afternoon. It's kind of been rainy and gross all day, but we're gonna eat lunch and chill and relax until I have to get the kids again. Also, my teammate came in, she had an extra whistle and I had not had a whistle, so now at recess, I don't have to scream my class's name for them to line up and I can blow a whistle. So shout out to my teammate. Here's my lunch today. I got some taco meat with some cheese, of course, some chocolate, um, taco sauce, poppy, obviously, tortilla, lettuce, and in, um, the staff room there was some pad thai just to, like for anybody that wanted it so obviously i took some of that and yeah i'm gonna watch some sydney adams love her vlogs and relax and eat my lunch the most chaotic afternoon well not the most chaotic but wow i'm tired <laughs> like sometimes your kids are just like so stir crazy and they can't stop talking or sit still or like do anything you ask them to do and they just can't help it because they're just so like i don't know i have no words but that was a rough day and you know it was fine but like wow I'm tired now, so I am gonna just like clean up my area, reset my classroom, and then probably take a picture for Insta and maybe make some TikToks. I don't really know, but I'm excited. I can't even speak English. I'm exhausted, and I'm going to probably go home and chill. I have a soccer game tonight, so that will be my workout. I might walk Charlie to the park. I might just take her on a walk. We, um, we shall see. But yeah, I'm tired and exhausted. But before I reset my classroom, let me show you what 
we did today. All right, so we did this little time scavenger hunt where this is our new unit. We just finished um, fractions, so we're moving on to time, and I just had a bunch of clocks around the room and tell me what time each clock said. So some of them got it, and some of them actually knew how to tell time, and some of them had no idea, so we <laughs> have a little bit of reviewing to do, but I just wanted to do this to see what they actually knew about time because then we're eventually going to move into elapsed time. We also finished up this cause and effect worksheet that we were working on um, about wind power with turbines and that it went okay but it could have gone better then also we did a little work um, we read a little text on solar power as well and we um, tomorrow we're going to compare and contrast with Venn diagram solar power and wind power so that should be hopefully it should be fairly easy and make sense to most of them. If not, then <laughs> we have some work to do, but most of the kids understood at least the concept of it. Cause we trying to live a good life. I'm driving down the coast, coast, homies in the bag bumping loud. You know, you know, we ain't got no worries. This my own, my own. I don't plan on leaving. There ain't nothing better than the west side. That's and I'm like, ooh, we, we on the map. I am currently icing my leg because a couple weeks ago I was playing soccer with my kids at recess and I basically pretty much almost pulled a muscle and I had a lovely muscle strain for a couple days and I thought I could play but I couldn't so then I ended up playing um, or not playing I ended up taking two weeks off then um, this past Monday, I was like, okay, I think I'm pretty good. I'm going to play again, which it was good for the most part, but it's still like tweaking here and there and it doesn't feel amazing. So I am just going to take a lot of ibuprofen, um, put biofreeze on and, you know, keep icing and just pray that it gets better. So if you are like a physical therapist or anything like that, and you have some recommendations for me, then please let me know. But, um, yeah that's our current situation um i'm gonna do some editing probably right now or try to do a little bit of anything editing maybe check some brand emails and then we're gonna do some legging curls i already did a body shower um and i did have legging curls in this morning but soccer just like made them fully fall out and i keep saying legging curls but i mean heatless curls because i do have a heatless curler now i used to use leggings all the time but now I have the uh, heatless curler from Kitsch um, that I have linked on my Amazon storefront. So that is our current situation. I got a little snack to get me through 
and curb my sweet tooth like always i don't know about you but i'm always somebody that has to have something sweet after i <laughs> eat dinner or something at night it's just like i have to have it or else i'm just not satisfied so that's our deal i'm gonna do some editing check some emails go do heatless curls and then probably talk to you in the morning Friday. I think I already have the day planned so I think we're going to catch up on some grading this morning and I'm not really sure what else there is to say at the moment but um, we're gonna do some comparing con comparing and con contrasting of wind power and solar power in ELA. We're going to do um some more time work in math because only a couple of my kids actually knew how to tell time to the nearest minute so that's a bit of an issue so we're going to review that and try some elapsed time word problems what else we are look at my slides for the day we are also going to do Actually, there's not really much else that like we have to get done. There's a lot of just like typical routine stuff. So I'm hoping, I don't really know what the weather's gonna be today. Mm, it's only gonna get up to 55. So if the weather is nice and it's not raining, then we might do like a fun Friday outside. We shall see. But a couple days ago, they did not earn a fun Friday. And yesterday they did, or not Friday, a couple days ago, I said, if we get all of our work done, we can earn an extra recess. But the work that we had to get done was a little more difficult than we anticipated or that I, than I anticipated. So we didn't end up going outside and they were pretty bummed, but oh well, <laughs> and yeah. So hopefully we can get most of the work done today and maybe go outside. I don't know, we'll see. If it's not nice out, then we'll just do like a fun Friday in here and they can play with my stem bins and just, have a grand old time. So yeah, we're gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna grade some papers, catch up on some emails, and I will talk to you later. fail every single Friday morning my students come in and say did the desk fairy come and you know 
the desk fairy forgot. And the desk fairy is going to, uh, going to come during specials. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Also forgot it's Cinco de Mayo today. So we're gonna see if we can find any cute, like, I don't know, find any cute Cinco de Mayo activities or readings or I don't know, something along that sort. to lunchtime and I'm exhausted but uh, I'm like just extremely tired today and I have no energy so the morning was like it was okay we did some comparing and contrasting of the solar power and wind power that I was talking about and it was fine most of them knew what to do but some of them I ended up just scaffolding a lot which is fine. And yeah, I don't know. It's Friday. My kids are kind of blah, not blah. I'm kind of blah. My kids are very squirrely, I guess is the right word. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to eat lunch. We're going to relax, watch some YouTube as always. Then we have math. We're going to do more elapsed time work and I don't know what else, but yeah, I'm going to hopefully make it through the afternoon without going crazy. So that's the goal of today, survive. I think we also, once they finished their, um, what's it called? Their wind and solar power thing, I gave them this Cinco de Mayo paper and it has all of the words to fill in the blank on the back and they just had to read and fill in the blank. Some of them it was really easy for, some of them really struggled because I have a very wide range of readers and some of them this is way beyond the reading level but I figured it might be a little fun activity for Cinco de Mayo if they finished that they got to move on to a word search and if they finished that they got a little coloring page so super cute and I just wanted to do a little something for Cinco de Mayo this is also very necessary also, a shout out to one of the instructional coaches because she made me a ton of flashcards that are all nonsense words because that is something my kids really struggle with. Um, they can, most of them can read normal words, but some of them, when I give them a nonsense word, they're just like deer in headlights and completely lost. So it's gonna be extremely useful and I cannot wait to use those. One more thing I made that I'm really excited about is I've seen this all over social media. I decided to make my own and I have tons of fun stuff on there. We have a print shop through our district that we can basically get basically anything printed and they do all the copies for us and it just gets sent to our school, which is amazing. And this is gonna be a 12 by 18 poster that I'm going to hang somewhere in my room, but it is May. I should have made this in the beginning of the year, but basically, um, my kids never stop interrupting me. So I am very excited about this addition that I will be able to use for years and years. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. So basically this explains my day coming back to my room and needing sweets, candy, something, because, <laughs> oh boy, it was a long day. Just one of those days, like I was saying earlier, I'm exhausted, they can't focus, everything is the end of the world and when, when it doesn't go their way. So thankfully it's Friday, the week's over, so good. It's been an exhausting day to say the least. So my side table absolute mess and my uh my standing desk also an absolute mess so we're gonna eat this candy and relax for like a hot second then clean up my area take a picture for instagram of course then maybe make some tiktoks i don't really know i always whenever i'm wearing a cute outfit and i like how i look i just feel like 
obligated to make some TikToks. So that's what we're gonna do. And yeah, I'll take you along with me. clean up i just wanted to show you this game sorry it's a complete mess right now but this is called guess in 10 and it has a bunch of different animal cards and basically how i play with my kids is i play whole class and i read them the buzzwords so mammal prince long legs and from just those words they have to guess and typically they can get it on the like maybe third or fourth try some of them get it right away because it's pretty obvious like crawl shell claws so it's pretty self-explanatory but they love playing and there's so many cards i also have a discount code as well too i have a video on tiktok or instagram about it and i believe the discount code is there but if not i will also link it in the description <music> walking back now it's not raining but it's totally okay we are just gonna have a chill night in hi char come here come here char charlie's gonna chill with us oh she's like <laughs> anytime i tell her to move over here she just like takes her sweet time hi hi <laughs> all right done she's gonna like hide right here now do you see this this is ridiculous <laughs> anyway um, I have my laptop over here. I'm gonna do some editing and just hang out the rest of the night. Also, no idea how I got this bruise. Pretty sure it's from soccer, but just gonna chill, do some editing for the rest of the night, and relax because I'm exhausted and teaching is very, very, very tiring. So thank you for coming along with me for these few days in my life. I'm going to end the vlog here. Please make sure to subscribe so you can keep following along. Make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram too. I am more active on there. I'm trying to be better on YouTube. So hopefully I will get in a better routine and yeah, keep making more videos. So comment down below if you are a teacher or if you are still in college trying to become a teacher, if you're in student teaching, something like that. And if you are a teacher, comment down below how many more weeks you have left of school because I know it's different everywhere. We get out on June 14th, so we still have like a little over a month left of school, but tons of fun things left to do. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.